Let's take a look at one of the component of your chapter one from dissertation. Um, I'd like to go with the purpose of this study. This is one of the important, super important um, element of your dissertation writing. In all qual, quant, or mixed methods, the purpose of the study is written slightly differently. So if you are doing a qualitative study, uh, make sure to select the words such as purpose or intent or study aim, uh, select the one of the key words there. And it is a good example. And I am borrowing this from Creswell and Creswell 2020. So the purpose of the study was so and so, and look at the keywords there. And the author is also recommending to use the action verbs uh, such as develop or explore or examine the meaning of or generate so and so. Okay. Uh, and here are a few examples as well, um, how you use them for your research. So here is a script, I think for the beginners while writing an article or even digitation, you can use this one. The template here is really nice. The purpose of this case study um, is to explore the experience of doctoral student in the program or from one doctoral program from Midwestern uh, State University. So probably you can use this nice template um, for your study. Okay, uh, so let's take a look. Uh, yes, this is the book page number I recommend it. If you are writing a purpose of a study uh, for the quantitative research, this will be slightly different because you know you would like to align it with uh, your research questions, something. So the purpose of the study uh, is or was, you can you know identify that model of the theory or conceptual framework, or basically going with the dependent or independent variables. And we have an example here. The purpose of this experimental research study or a survey research is to examine so and so variables. Um, so I have highlighted here dependent, independent variables and how you want to control them, mediate them. Um, and here is a good example. The purpose of the study was to elaborate on and so and so here. Look. Um, okay, and it has two research questions, a three research question followed by the purpose of the study. Okay, and um, I wanna stop here for a second. It is another good example. The purpose of the study was to examine the relationship between personal characteristics and the job satisfaction of certified educator who taught in a selected state adult correctional institution in the US. So it does have more details here. Now take a look for the mixed method. Um, mixed method has more uh, with the details of which type of mixed method, either explanatory or explanatory sequential um, or other type of, there are at least three major um, types of mixed methods. So definitely this is a good template. You can use the book. I highly recommend to buy a copy of Cresswell and Cresswell 2020 or any books that pro offer you a template and just you fill in. Okay, that's there. So take a look at the real dissertation here. Um, this is the study here. You can see on mentoring doctoral students. So here, uh, mentoring relationship of the African-American doctoral students. So in this, uh, the original dissertation. So how the author has used those, take, let's, uh, let's take a look quickly. Okay, abstract also is a one way to take a look. So it says the phenomenology qualitative study that measures that examine the lived experience of African American doctoral students. And then data were collected here from a survey and the end of the telephone interview. Uh, you can see here. Um, then the five themes were generated uh, out of that interviews. So let's find how the author has used the uh, purpose of the study. You can see the purpose of the study always in chapter one. So it's here on page 11. So we are going to see what the author has written here. So as you see here, the purpose of the study is a standalone a statement. Sometimes you can merge with 
um, the other research questions is to identify themes from the faculty student mentoring relationship experience involving African-American black doctoral student from this particular doctoral programs and is followed by the significant of study or the research questions. Okay, so that's here is a long dissertation 139 pages. Uh, you can download it from ProQuest. Here is another dissertation, a Latino doctoral student experience of belonging, PhD dissertation from New Mexico State University. So let's take a look quickly what the author has said about that. It is usually in chapter one. Okay, is the purpose of the study here on page nine. So let's go to page nine here right now. Okay, page nine, the purpose of the study, you can see it here. Um, the purpose of the this qualitative research study was to explore the experience of belonging of current Latina doctoral students. So it's very clear and precise. Okay, and you can see the earlier dissertation had a one or two sentences, a paragraph. This one has a, a, a well-developed paragraph and does have definitely some um, foundation with previous author and is followed by, see, very few paragraphs. Uh, the structure is slightly different for this particular dissertation and you can see research question right after this and significance of this study. I hope this example is helpful. Uh, wish you all the best.